ahead and go for you go. I got a uh, question. Somebody asked me to make a uh, video of my phone, of how I did things, I guess. So, so I could go over that for my Moto Rocker Z6M. So I'll turn it on. First thing you'll need is a Motor Rocker or a Motorola update, Motorola software update. Just Google it, Motorola software update should be right here. Take you right here, select carrier type, and then oop, get a PTK Commander. I think this is a newer version, but it's the same thing. I'm just, I haven't got the new version yet, but it still works. Alright, so, open up Motorola Software Update. Your mouse will to like a little phone for a second. Alright, so phone is connected. So just minimize it and get PGK Commander. Open up P2K Commander EXE, nothing else. Yeah, see, I don't want to update. Uh, for my phone, uh, by default, they're like, it's the bottom one, and I think that's just the middle, but for my phone to get mine to work, it took me, I don't know, a while, a couple times, I just figured out that, uh, I need the top one, P2K Commander P2K05, for my phone to work, I'm not sure about your phone. And then select system or phone system as P2K phone system uh, reread button. And here's your phone right here. And here's what's all on the phone. These are like system files. And then to get into your sounds and pictures and whatnot, uh, just go through the folders. Um, and in Motorola system, A slash Motorola slash system, is your system sounds, but not ringtones. These are like, let's see, startup sound. It's a 10 second clip, MP3, make sure it's MP3. And then to replace it, to make it one of your own, you have an MP3. You just have an exact title, capitals, I think, do count. Um, under, uh, CUSD underscore start squiggly line up MP3. And what you do is you drag your sound or whatever in there, and it'll ask if you want to replace it. Click yes. It would just, I would make a backup of your old original. I don't know, I, I think I already deleted mine a long time ago because they're just crap. But... Just drop it in there and replace it. This isn't one of them, that's just the sound I have. For my open and close uh, slide tone, it's uh, open.mp3. Just drag uh, open sound or just get a find a little clip. Look at this one's a one second clip, so I mean, one second clips work. I mean, you don't really want anything longer. Sure, you can have, like, a 10-second clip play in there, but do you really want, like, a 5-second, 10-second clip 
playing just to open up your phone but so it's short it's it works um there's some there's some other ones people have the uh star wars lightsaber i think it's pretty cool or the mario like gets a mushroom and <laughs> okay so these are all in motorola system folder my startup saw that uh my shutdown it won't play for some reason but it plays on my phone now um, I have the open sound but to make it reversed it's the same exact sound except for reversed originally I got my sound somewhere I forgot where but I use Zedge now Zedge.net is a pretty cool site it doesn't require a phone number to download anything. It doesn't even require a phone number to have your own profile. So I'm Ottawa BBX84. You can find all my uploads here. And I'm a hardcore Zedger. Woo! So go to my most recent ones. Give me Paul! From Spaceballs. I'm having trouble with the radar, sir. What's wrong with it? I've lost the bleeps, I've lost the sweeps, and I've lost the creeps. The what? The what? So then to download it, yeah, you just click on download. You can PC download it, or you can mobile web it, or you can text the code. And there's instructions on how to get it for texting. Um, but my slide tone I got, I just... Get ringtone. Oh, I got an email. To see. Okay, PC download. And I'll show you how to reverse the sound. What I use. Uh, open contain folder. Uh, edit with WavePad. I have WavePad. NCH WavePad. I just select all Control A effects. Reverse. And then save it as closed.mv3. And just drag it onto your phone. Other things before this video ends and I run out of time is uh, camera shutter sounds. Excellent! Oh, yeah. That's a. Oh, you can't double play it from here, apparently. But um, they're wave. Make sure your shutter sounds are waves. They're shutter 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And what else? My startup GIF. Oh, uh, customer opening GIF. Make sure this is a GIF. I think you just have a regular picture in there, but. Make sure you find one. I just found that on PhotoBook by chance, and the resolution fits just right. Your ringtones are in shared audio. Here's all my ringtones. They all start with Z's to keep them all together. So um, when you are just drop a ringtone in there from your desktop, just drag it and drop it. And then make sure that you uh, attribute system survive master reset. And then for my phone, I don't know why I have to do this, but I have to play the sound first and the sound setting, sound player. And then from there, I have to apply ringtone as. And then it's in the ringtone settings. Like I can go to settings, then find it in my settings. I don't know why I have to play it first and then apply it in there, but that's how pretty much everything's done. Um, ringtones there. You can delete ringtones. When you delete a ringtone, make sure you um, disable the attribute. Make sure you take these off and delete it on your phone. If you delete it on here, It'll, the name will still show up on your phone. It just won't be there anymore. It's just annoying to have that name there and not have it. 
Mm, anything else? I'm not sure what else to cover. I pretty much covered everything. Here's all your icon pictures, your pictures that aren't deletable on your phone, but you can delete them here. Most of these, all of these are icon pictures, but um, anything else? Uh, hit me up with a question or whatever. Thanks. Go Critico out.